The marriage fails because apparently you have angered the gods. It's not something so clear. Well, now it is clear, you stupid frapole of the past. This is how to fail a marriage in fear and hunger. So, I'll have to go a little bit in technicalities for this, but uh, let's start very simply, okay? So, as I said in the affinity video, every time you pray three times to a god, then you're gonna gain one affinity level with that god. But let's see how does it work, shall we? So, every time you pray to a god, there is a variable related to the god that goes up by one. It starts at zero, and once it reaches three, you gain one level of affinity with that god, okay? All clear? Well, there is a little problem with this. There are ways to lower this number. And this can happen if you pray on a ritual circle in which you already prayed to a different god. And in particular, both the variable of the god you prayed at the ritual circle and of the other god that you choose in the second time are gonna be lowered by one. But I think a practical example is gonna be simpler, shall we? Alright, so, in this ritual circle we are gonna pray to Grogroth. So the variable of Grogroth goes from zero to one. Then in this ritual circle we are gonna pray to Sylvian. So the variable of Sylvian goes from zero to one. But now, in this ritual circle in which we already prayed to Sylvian, we are gonna pray to Grogroth. What happens? Both Sylvian and Grogroth variable go down by one and this can be done an infinite amount of times so if here I pray once again to Grogroth then the variables of both Sylvian and Grogroth go down again by one and yes they can go negative and this is where failing a marriage comes into play if you try to make love after your variable with Sylvian is below zero then you're gonna fail the marriage and it's gonna be a game over so my best suggestion is be sure to only pray to one god for each ritual circle, never pray to multiple gods on the same ritual circle, it doesn't work, it's only useful to make them more angry. Only the first pray you do on the ritual circle counts. And since we are here, I'm also gonna mention how do the statues work with lowering the variables, shall we? Let's start with the statue of Grogroth. So, if you pray to anyone but Grogroth, then the variable of that god is gonna go down by one. For example, if you pray to Sylvian, the variable of Sylvian goes down by one. But after you pray to Grogroth, to his statue, then what happens is praying to other gods is no longer gonna lower their variable. Instead, only if you pray to Grogroth, you're gonna lower the variable of Grogroth. What? I mean, I guess gods don't like to be prayed too much, maybe? On the other hand, if we go to Sylvian, first if you pray to anyone but Sylvian, you're gonna lower the variable with the respective god. So for example, if I pray to Olmir, I'm gonna lower the variable with Olmir. But after you pray to Sylvian, then if you try to pray once again, you're gonna lower the variable of the respective god. This time it works. But now let's go to the Chad, to the statue of Olmir. It doesn't matter where, it doesn't matter when you pray to him, you cannot lower affinities with other gods. The only thing you can do is increase the variable with Olmir. Even if you try to pray again to other gods or him himself after you do it, you're not gonna lower any variables. This statue is really the Chad. I would have loved if the developer inserted something like uh, even a way to anger Grogroth, I don't know, um, exploding. 